What's going on YouTube? GeoSnow right here. So in today's video, we're going to take a look at this program here, iMyPhone iOS System Recovery, which helps you fix serious problems with the iOS system when your phone doesn't boot anymore or gets stuck on the Apple logo or in recovery mode. So it's a pretty neat program, but uh, I also have a giveaway for this program, five licenses for the first five people who comment with give me the license in the comment section down below. Other comments will not be taken into consideration, only the those which uh, have the content give me the license so comment in the comment section down below right now with give me the license to be able to win a free license for this program now uh, the program itself is created by iMyPhone and what it does is pretty much fixing errors like Apple logo you know being stuck on the Apple logo black screen white screen blue screen and uh, you know device not booting up anymore or being in recovery mode or DFU mode and so on so that's what it does uh, it comes as a free trial if you want to to try the program or you can purchase a license for it and uh, it's compatible with iOS 11, iOS 10, it, it's compatible with iPhone 10, iPhone 8, iPhone 8 Plus, and even lower. So that's pretty much the introduction to the program. Let's see it in action now. So um, the program itself looks pretty neat. It's pretty easy to use. I think everybody can use it. It has only three big options. And um, it says in here, clearly you have a standard mode, you have exit recovery mode. It's a quick button to fix that and uh, an advanced mode. Well, in the advanced mode, it's pretty much it's going to wipe everything from the device. It's going to uh, reset it, it's going to remove data, but it's going to fix it if it has advanced problems or, you know, very hard problems. Um, in the standard mode, it's not going to, to remove your data, it's going to just attempt to fix black screen or um, white screen or Apple logo or DFU mode or recovery mode and boot loops and so on without uh, trying to remove your data uh, and the exit recovery mode is pretty much a quick fix which is going to work pretty neat and I'm going to show you why uh, the recovery mode is that mode when you have the iTunes logo and a power cable on the screen and sometimes uh, your device might play havoc and show that but um, when you open it in iTunes it show up like this you can see it says um, iPod in recovery mode and I'm going to try to reconnect it for you to be able to see what's going on if I try to reconnect it it shows like this it says there is a problem with the iPod iPod touch that requires it to be updated or restored and the only options that I have is cancel restore and update but none of them are good for me because I do not want to update or to restore my phone uh, because maybe I don't want to lose my data or maybe I want to keep it jailbroken and if I update it, it's not going to be possible anymore. So, you cannot do it with iTunes, unfortunately. So, how do we fix it then? Well, the program itself should be able to handle that. I'm going to leave iTunes open in here so that you can see the phone actually reboots and I'm going to press exit recovery mode. It should work as a charm. I have tested this program and many of the features of this program and I can tell you it works pretty well. Now the device itself runs on iOS 11.1.2 so it's a pretty recent version and you just have to press exit. Now the uh, device has restarted and you can see that by the fact that um, the uh, screen here has changed. The uh, connected device in here is actually my iPhone uh, 7 Plus which is connected wirelessly but this one has restarted. Okay it says exited it says exited recovery mode. So it pretty much uh, did it. We're going to press done and we're going to wait for it to boot. It's still on the Apple logo. So I'm um, going to wait for it to, to show up in here. And there we go. Okay, so, and it says that there is an update. I don't want to update it. Okay. Let me select it from here, uh, GS Nose iPod, they add this one in here. And this one is my development device, it says iOS 11.1.2, so I'm able to access the data on the device, it shows it and it's able to synchronize with it. So it's pretty much working properly now, and it booted up normally. I can uh, pretty much go into the settings menu right away and uh, play some sounds so that you can see it booted normally. Yep. So uh, things are going okay with this program. Now, if your device has more problems than that and it's not going to cut it with just a quick fix in here, you have the standard mode which will attempt to uh, prevent deletion of your data. So what you need to do is actually to put the device into the DFU mode or device firmware update mode. Now um, they give you the guide which is quite okay for other devices or for the iPhone 7, 7 Plus, 8 Plus and 8. If you press in here you're going to get the info for the um, for these devices 7 and 7 Plus and 
8 and 8 plus or other devices which my uh, device is in this category so you press start and you're going to have to follow their um, on-screen tutorial which is quite okay you usually do not find a uh, good tutorial for the um, DFU mode but they do seem to have a good one here just follow along and um, once you're in a DFU mode, it switches to this window in here, and iTunes will probably complain that there is a problem with your device. Ah, uh, yes, it says it detected a device. You can just quit iTunes since it's not required. And what this part of the program will attempt to do is to update your phone, so it will update to the latest version, but it will try to update without erasing your data. So if you are planning to jailbreak the device, this, this solution is not going to cut it, because it will still update your phone or iPod to the latest version. Now, um, as you can see, it says in here iOS 11.0.2, which I think is a bug because iOS 11.0.2 is no longer signed. Anyways, uh, I think I'm going to report this since iOS 11.0.2 is no longer signed at this point, but um, yeah, it shouldn't show up in here. But normally you would press download and it pretty much starts downloading and it will restore it automatically. I'm not going to go through this. Anyways, uh, I have a complaint about this program in here, uh, and not about the program itself, since the program seems to be working okay uh, if we do not take into consideration this bug in here. But there is no back button in this section, so I'm not able to go back to the main menu from here. I have to close the uh, program and start it again. Don't get me wrong, if you get to another uh, section of the program, you have the back button, but in this advanced mode or in that standard mode, you simply do not have the back button here, so you're not able to go back to the main screen without closing the program, which is bad. Now, in here on the advanced mode, it will pretty much erase everything. In case your device cannot be updated through the standard mode and keep the data, probably you would like to have your device fixed at some point, even at the expense of losing the data. So this advanced mode will do it. Uh, it will download the latest version of iOS and will update your device to the latest version. Again, with the same thing with downloading the firmware and everything on the device, including photos, contacts and so on will be lost, but it guarantees the fact that it will fix the device if it's a software issue. Now, uh, that's pretty much how the program works. But what if you have like issues with the program or, you know, you're not figuring something out or you find a bug like the one I found in here because iOS 11.0.2 is currently not signed. The only version currently signed is iOS 11.2.1 and iOS 11.2. Anyways, you can go ahead and here on their website and they have this little menu here which says contact us and they're providing support for the program and can report bugs and so on. So uh, that's pretty much how it works. They have a guide in here if you're uh, more of a written guides person and you can take a look exactly on how you can use the program and stuff like that. Now this is a very good program in my opinion and it works quite well with iOS 11 and it has both Windows and Mac OS version, which is quite nice. Now, um, you have in here a list of the uh, issues that this program can fix. For example, as I said, black screen of death, uh, iPhone stuck in recovery mode with the iTunes logo, iPhone stuck in spinning circle, freezing iOS screen, restarting loops, iPhone won't turn on, white screen, and Apple logo. So quite a big range in there, and it will try to save the data while fixing it. And um, it does support the iPhones, uh, pretty much all of them up to the iPhone 4, and um, the iPads and the iPod Touches, including the first generation of the iPod Touch, which is quite neat. And uh, they have a couple options in here. And then what is quite nice is the fact that this program is being trusted or used by 2 million people. So it's quite a nice program. You can read the reviews in here. And um, yeah, in my opinion, I think it's a good program. So definitely check it out in the description. Do not forget we have a giveaway active with this program. The first five dudes to actually comment with give me the license in the comment section will get a free license for this program, a full license so that they can use all the feature is. So yeah, that's pretty much it guys. Check it out in the description down below. To install it, you pretty much download the DMG file on the Mac and drag it and drop it into the applications folder. You will be able to find it in here. Let me show you. This is where it shows up. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Do not forget to subscribe to stay updated and peace out.